Hello there, Dr. Mintz. I'm going to look through a case here that came to the emergency department. The patient had abdominal pain, severe abdominal pain, and you can see an NG tube is present. Always good on CT to look for the NG tube position. Easy to overlook because we're used to looking for it on KUBs. So severe abdominal pain, take a look. All right, there's kind of an overview of what's going on. All right. Now take a look. Tell me what you think. Well, I can't hear you, so imagine you were telling me, and what would you say? All right, well, this bowel looks a little dilated. That looks a little dilated, probably getting close to three centimeters diameter. But there's some fluid still in the transverse colon and left colon. And what do we have over here? What is that, hemorrhage in the right colon or something? It's actually just a little bit of the oral contrast squirting into the fluid-filled right colon. And it, sometimes it just depends on the weight and the density of the material in there, but it's just kind of accumulating more centrally and giving you the swirly appearance with the liquid stool around it. Okay, so let's see that distal small bowel. Oh, that looks pretty narrow, doesn't it? Yeah, it does there too. It looks pretty narrow. Follow it back, 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 back. Still narrow there, isn't it? Where is it going here? Well, if you look here, you think, oh my goodness, there's something in the right inguinal canal. Air, air pockets with an abnormal little focus of fat. So you can see this portion of small bowel right there coming down from the right colon down into here, and you see air around it. So if you see an inguinal hernia, you should look for edema and air. Both of them, either of them, can indicate that there's an incarceration. Okay, and here... I, I suggested that this looked like an incarceration and the small bowel distal to that is certainly not dilated it's sort of reduced caliber so somehow this has managed to be just a partial small bowel obstruction okay and so that's it right wrong you saw something else right well this is the GU course so what do we have here? You have a mass in the left kidney. What would you describe it as? Large cyst or cystic mass? Not so fast. Let's see. Check what the attenuation is. All right, 18. It might be fluid containing, but it's kind of unusual. Here they're getting a mean of 30 Hounsfield units attenuation. 12. So some areas are higher attenuation than others. Could it be partially cystic? It does look kind of funny. See, you don't use cysts are usually nice and round and smooth, smooth, smooth. Here, look at the, even the edge here is not really real sharp, and then it has this lobulation to it. You can see hundreds of cysts before you'll see something that looks like this. So this is worrisome right here. Okay, and it makes you think about renal cell carcinoma. Well, all right, so we mentioned that, right? Okay, so now we've done something else a little bit more important than just bowel obstruction. But wait a minute, is this just uh, a Schmorl's node, an end plate uh, defect? This looks like a little worse than that, doesn't it? And Oh boy, look at that. That's an erosive. So there are lytic lesions in the vertebrae. And look at this. What's going on here? This is actually has, has some canal stenosis. We better look at that in another plane, right? 
All right, here we go. Boom, boom. Ooh, dear. That's bad. So, this patient came in with a partial small bowel obstruction and obviously has other problems going on. Lytic lesion here, another compression up here. Lytic lesion here, some lytic process in this vertebra too. And you see, even this, subtle as it is, stands out so decidedly from the density of all the other vertebrae. So something going on there. It's probably a lytic lesion that hasn't fully lysed the bone. Another one here. Okay, so what do you think of that? Renal cell carcinoma. Do you see renal cell carcinoma going to bones? Yes, it loves to go to bones. That's its number one destination. When I see renal cell carcinoma, first place I look is the bones for lytic lesions. When I see a prostate carcinoma, first place I look is the bones for sclerotic metastases. All right, that's it.